I wanted to people to look at my life and say, and be inspired to follow Jesus. That's the, that's the only, that's the only thing that really matters for me. My parents, they are very passionate about God. I have a respect from God. And as I told you, they teach me how to pray and also their ways, right? I, I really respect that. But for me, it wasn't a relationship, man. You know, I'm, I'm not saying about them. They have their relationship with God, but about me, it wasn't a relationship. It was, it was just going to church and going back home. I, I, I felt like I, I didn't, I never got uh, uh, stop at a moment and, and, and look at God and say, hey, oh, you're really there? He's not just... Uh, this going to church, so I think I became a religious person, just going to church, and uh, and uh, when I had a chance to not go in anymore, uh, I, all right, I'm not gonna go anymore. It was like, uh, uh, it was more like an obligation than a relationship. Well, I went, I went away from my parents, as I already said, I lived in Mexico, and and then I left Mexico, I went back back to Brazil. And my parents stayed there. At that, at that point, I was uh, uh, 20, uh, I mean, 22 years old, 21, and um, and not being with my parents anymore, I didn't have to go to church. And then uh, um, that was the, the the contact that I had with the faith I, I, through my parents. And now I didn't have that anymore. I don't have to go to church. I don't have to do this. I don't have to do that. And I kind of lost my my, my 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 touch with with the religious part of me. And I, st I started uh, making bad decisions. I mean, I was living alone. I was the—I am the youngest, so uh, my dad and my mom always blessing me, taking care of me. And uh, I'm not never, never gonna gonna blame them. Uh, it was it was it was always me trying to trying to go the go the easy way, which is not always a good way <laughs> or the right way. And uh, and I started making dumb decisions relating to dumb people. I mean. Uh, 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 you know, all those kind of bad, bad decisions that we do. <laughs> I'm not gonna even name it. But um, I ended up um, getting involved with, with somebody and, um, and for three years, we, we never got married, but I, we had a daughter, I have a daughter, she's 11 years old. And um, and one of my biggest dreams was, became, was to become a dad at that point. And then I became a dad in a, such a different setup. And then after she was one year, I, 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 left, I left her and the mom and I went to leave alone. We fight, everything was, it was just bad. And then at that point in my life, I was like, all right, I'm not gonna, I mean, God doesn't exist. Like, there's, no, there's no reason for God to exist. I, was, I, always dreamed how to, I always dreamed about to be a dad, and now look at me. I'm alone here, I also have a job. I, I, I've been lying all my life, trying to go my way, and now my daughter's far away from me. It was bad. So I start blaming God of all my bad decisions. I start putting, hey, it's, it, it's your fault. You never took care of me. You don't, you don't exist. And uh, you can figure out that I was really mad about God. And then it started with a, with a hate through, through, through towards God and blaming Him, trying to find somebody to blame. And uh, I, it was my fault, but I couldn't see it. And, um, and I started blaming God and blaming Him. And, and it was really quick. I went from blaming to negating to just turning my ways and I start now I'm, I, 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 you ask about how I relate to Christians and at that point I was really thought I was right that God doesn't that didn't exist and God was just a story or was just a thought I always said it Jesus is a little story and I was trying to convince the Christians to not to be Christians anymore they, they were wrong on my, on my point of view so I started uh, what I would call at that point I was trying to convince them but it's more like uh, uh, trying to <laughs> Uh, 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 make them um, see that they were wrong, and um, I was like a persecuting them a little bit. Uh, I, I couldn't find a Christian, uh, uh, um, and uh, not like arguing, trying to talk, to talk them out of their faith, and uh, which I thought I, I could do. But I mean, it was just it was just uh, hate, uh, 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 disguised as a, as deception with myself, just putting the blame on somebody. When I got saved, I, I met so many friends that were Christian. They say I was praying for you. I was praying for you. But at that point, uh, on my life, I met a guy. I met a guy that I worked for him. He was my boss, and uh, I didn't know he was a Christian. And uh, he taught me about lying. And uh, at that moment, I decided not to lie anymore in my life. For some reason, I want to change my life. And I say, oh, I'm going to change my life. I'm going to be better. 
I'm not going to lie. I don't need any God. If I don't lie, things are going to be good. So I, I part my ways from lying, and my, my life started changing real fast. Uh, I got a job, and then I got a good job, and then I was starting getting blessed. But you got to understand, I was an atheist. I, I, I wasn't figuring it out that that was coming from God, or, or it was a side effect, or the effect of not lying. And, uh, and then I ended up working in a great place in Brazil, and then Volvo, in Volvo company, one of the best companies in the city that I, live, that I lived, that is Curitiba. And, um, and I met a guy, that he's, 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 he was very engaged at church, I know he was Christian. And I was like, persecuting him, trying to convince him, and he was never said nothing to me. I was saying bad things about Jesus, and he never hated me, he never looked me wrong, he just loved me, all the way in. Until one day we had a talk and he, he told me about life and death and how I was wrong and I need to change my ways. And I was like, oh, whatever. And then uh, uh, um, that talk just went, went away with me. I remember going days and nights alone and that thought came into my mind and I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And then three months after that, uh, I met a girl on the internet and we started talking and uh, we met twice and uh, ended up that she was a Christian. And um, this is just one week. Ended up that she was a Christian. Uh, after we met twice, she, she said that they don't want they don't want to meet me anymore. And I was really disappointed because I like her. But and, uh, and then she ended up uh, explaining me that he doesn't want me to meet anymore because she liked me. And she said, "I'm a Christian. I, I believe in God, and you don't. I mean, I don't want to. I mean, just we, it's not gonna work. And uh, just go your way. I go my way. And then uh, after two days of talking and. Um, I asked her if I can if I can talk to her. I mean, I need a clarifying. We we talk once and we talk twice. At the second time, I was I wasn't I wasn't um, uh, satisfied. And I say, hey, let's meet again. Da da da. da. Ended up that I uh, 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 I ended up being at church. I mean, I said, hey, I'm gonna go with you to, to meet you wherever you are. And she said, are you, are you sure? I said, yeah, I'm sure. She said, I'm gonna go to church. I'm like, oh, I was not sure. So I ended up being at church. I like a Christ incidents. <laughs> I don't want. I don't like coincidence. I just. I don't believe in coincidence. So I, I was. I was. I want to call it Christicidence. Something, something like that. So it was. It was uh, uh, the grace of God, I guess, uh, uh, attracting me at that moment. And uh, I came. I went there because of because of her. Of course, it was my first. The first time of my life that I walked in in an evangelical church. First time in my life. Never been in an evangelical church. It was really different for me, and uh, the, the preacher, the, he preaches, and uh, of course I didn't understand nothing because he was talking about opening the Bible, closing the Bible, and I didn't even have a Bible, not even in my phone at that point. After he finished, he, was, he invited us to come to the front, and uh, just to be there and pray, but I've never prayed. I've never talked to God like, talk, talk. I prayed the way they teach me, but not talk like with my words. You understand what I'm saying? And, uh, and I, well, of course, I, I didn't want to go. And I went back to my seat and I started, and I'm like, I'm gay, I'm going to stay here. I'm not going to. And then some, something inside of me made me go, made me go. And I went and, I, and, I, and I, everybody was kneeled down and I'm like, oh, I'm going to do the same. I don't know what to do. So I kneeled down on the altar and I started crying, crying very bad, very, very bad. I remember that I couldn't even look. That's, I don't know, I don't know, because I was so frustrated. Why I'm crying? I'm crying, I'm crying. And you got to understand that the day after that, I was, I was challenging God because uh, this girl, he didn't want, she didn't want to talk with me. And I'm like, all right, if you exist, you got to show up. You got to show up. You got to talk with me. And then, I, and then I, for one day, I had this problem because I was an atheist and I, I, I talked with God. What? What? That was that was kind of I was I was a bad atheist. <laughs> and uh, and then ended up being at church the next day, and I was there uh, kneeling down, crying really bad, really bad. And then a, a guy came in that I, nobody I, nobody knew me at the church. I, mean, I was a heavy metal guy. I was I was music for me was everything. I was moved through music, and. Uh, I was far, far away from being in a church on a, sun, on a Saturday night. Uh, that I can tell you. Uh, and, uh, and then that guy came to me and uh, I, I listened to a voice. He put, it, he put his hand on my back and, and he said, he whispered at my ears. He said, 
Jesus is not a little story. And he is here to heal you and to, to, for you to know that he died for you. And I'm like, wow. At that moment, God answered the prayer that I did one day before. And uh, he said, he said the quote that, uh, that, the same quote that I used to say to people, that Jesus was a little joke, was a little story. And then he uses the same words, and I never know him. So all of a sudden, it's like, uh, I'll force I'm going to put it in perspective, because I just watched Paul's, uh, Paul's movie, Paul, Paul the Apostle the movie. And, uh, and, and when he turns blind and God, and Jesus came to him and he said, hey, I'm Jesus, the one you persecute. I feel like at that moment, I feel like now that I can see it, I feel like the same, like, I am Jesus, I'm here, I'm not a story. Why are you doing this? And at that moment, I stood up as a Christian. I stood up and I, 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 it may sound crazy, but I went, I went there to that girl that today is my wife, of course. We ended up getting married. And, uh, and, I, and, I, and I told her, hey, I'm a Christian now. And she was like, yeah, all right, you're a Christian. You were like this two, two years, two hours back. And now you're a Christian. Like, I, no, you don't understand. I'm a Christian. You need to teach me how to be a Christian because I, how, is there any rules? Is there something I can, what do I do? I'm really a Christian. I'm going to be a follower of Jesus right now. And she gave me the Bible. She said, hey, read the New Testament. And uh, I remember the next day uh, I pick up my daughter and I, and I told her, hey, dad is going to believe in Jesus now. We're going to believe together. And uh, I didn't have a lot of information, but I say, he died on the cross for us, da, da, da. Let's pray. She was, she was so young. She was, she couldn't. She said yes, Dad, of course. And we prayed. And I remember the next Wednesday, I went for the first time to the home group, home church, and uh, because uh, our our church in Brazil is a um, uh, church that works with home groups, so I went to the first home group, and uh, from that day, man, I've never, I've never turned back. The grace of God uh, came into my life. I, I found Jesus. I found a relationship with Him. And uh, I, remember, I remember the feeling that I have even now. And I'm, I'm 38, and I feel like uh, there's no time to waste at that time. I'm like, in my mind, I was, oh, I, I was, oh, I, and now I know that I know this. I need to do something. People need to know about this. I need to make, make, make up time because I went to church and everybody already read the Bible. Everybody knows those books. And I'm like, oh, what? I got to make up time. So I remember reading the Bible like crazy, like desperated to know everything. And uh, two months from that, from that, I got baptized. And then, uh, long story short, in one year and one month, uh, after that day, I got, uh, I got saved, I got married, and, uh, and I got my degree. So from one year, when I, when I start, decide, really decide to walk with Jesus, accepting him in my heart and say, hey, I'm not gonna back up with this, I'm, I just, I'm all in. And um, and I'm here now. It's just, just a miracle from being standing in this field.